Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Natural Living by Inovi, where I show you how easy it is to prepare your favorite meals, baked items, smoothies, healthy juices, and some vegan meals too. My focus is always on a healthy lifestyle, so check out my videos on healthy lifestyle tips, self-care, home care, jewelry making, and discussions on how to maintain a positive mindset. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching. Yeah, man. Okay, um, I had the black beans soaking overnight in the refrigerator. So I'm going to put them to boil. And when they're just a little bit softer, not too soft, then we add the rest, the rest of the ingredients. So it's a quite an easy thing to do. Okay, one medium onion. Put this up. Finish cutting up the onion. Scallion, one stalk of scallion or scallion or green onions, whatever you prefer to call it. Okay, so I'm using two sprigs of thyme. I'm adding a cup of hot water so that I don't change the temperature but if you don't have the hot water you can add your cold water um, if you're gonna add the coconut cream powder then you would add more water but I'm gonna add the coconut cream in the tin this time around so I won't add too much water so they're almost done I give it, this has been 20 minutes since I last um, showed you so i'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and then we'll test okay so this is 15 minutes after i'm gonna add the coconut cream you could add a little butter to or margarine if you want in before so everything is on the bottom it's nice and rich and creamy there's a little bit left on the bottom so I'm gonna add a little hot water you could use cold water but I don't want to reduce the temperature of the pot because it will just let it take longer to cook. Okay, so I'm adding the rest of that. So at this point, I'm going to add the seasoning. So 
So we're going to add our onions and garlic and thyme and scallion, same as green onions or scallion or scallions. Okay, I'm going to add some dry seasoning now. Scraping down the sides with my spatula. Okay, I'm gonna add a little black pepper, just a little bit, a little less than a quarter teaspoon. Gonna add some herbs and spices. Just add your favorite seasonings. Herbs and spices. About a half a teaspoon. A little Mrs. Dash. About a half teaspoon. I'm adding some chicken spice because I don't have any all-purpose. So I'm adding a little chicken spice. Just add whatever you like. Not everyone likes a lot of seasoning. And I like the taste of meat spice in this. It just gives it a little extra flavor. So not meat, um, it's meat spice, not meat seasoning, meat spice. I find it has a different flavor than the meat seasoning. So I'm gonna stir this. this. I'm gonna give this a little stir. I need to add some um, piece of pepper. Adding a half a teaspoon of salt. I should have added it with the dry seasoning. So we're just gonna let this simmer. The peas are cooked, but I'm just gonna let it simmer nicely. I don't know. It is really nice and healthy. You can add some veggies to it if you want, like you could add some carrots or so, or even some mixed veggies to add a little difference to it. So this is gonna be a side dish for me. So try it and let me know if you like it. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So, um, so you know, I normally add the pepper during the cooking. I've decided now to add the scotch bonnet after cooking and just stir it in because sometimes I just love the taste of the uncooked pepper. That will give it a nice flavor. And then you can add more if you like or add less. It's all up to you. And sometimes it depends on how hot the pepper is. So there we are.